The Mekong is one of the greatest river systems in the entire world, stretching over 5,000 kilometres through six countries, and right now, it's edging us towards Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia. From bustling cities to the charm of local villages, it's a fascinating and diverse insight into life in this part of the world. And guiding us along from port to port is our haven of comfort and luxury, scenic spirit. Last week, we explored the fascinating temple city of Siem Reap, as well as some of Cambodia's smaller towns and villages on scenic's Treasures of the Mekong River Cruise. This week, our cruise continues down the Mekong, crossing the border into Vietnam as we wind our way towards our final destination, Ho Chi Minh. First up though, the chaos of Phnom Penh. Here we are at the riverside. I love the way we just merged into traffic then and you were totally relaxed and I'm like, uh-oh, look out, there's cars coming from every angle. That's typical of the traffic That's in typical. Phnom Penh. Yeah, yeah, our people, they know the culture of driving here. Yeah, they and know. what is the culture of driving? Just go help a leather? Uh, actually, um, uh, we know the speed and we can estimate uh, the time that they can brake properly <laughs> and, yeah. We can't do with that. Yeah, right. So you've got to be doing math in your head as you're driving as yeah, well. Yeah, we do a little bit of mathematics before we do it. <laughs> Phnom Penh is jam-packed with all the colour and excitement you'd expect from a vibrant Asian city. At its heart is the city's central market, an Art Deco landmark dating back to the 1930s. Wow, this is incredible. When you think about like you know, Asian markets, you get this idea that they're sort of chaotic and yeah. crowded and stuff. But this feels quite airy and, and pleasant. It's a nice experience. Yeah. And when you're ready for the sights and sounds of a busy city market, you can venture to the outdoor section. This was much more what I was expecting. It's like hustle bustle, the colours, the smells, it's, it's everything. Yeah, this is the uh, food section. Normally it's more busy, there's more different type of food as you see. Uh, there's, there's a lot of interesting sweet here. The local one is this one, which is the... This one here? Yeah, that's the palm seed. That is from the sugar palm tree, which is a national tree of Cambodia. It looks like a jellyfish. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's nice, it's nice. Normally, uh, we put in the bowl and we put some sugar, and yeah, it tastes nice. There you are. OK, all right. Good. Oh. I mean, that has a spe very specific texture. It's actually not too bad. OK. It's sort of coconutty. The food section of the market has every type of local delicacy you can imagine. And some you'd probably prefer not to. Uh, we have the fried tarantula. Not just only tarantula, but... Uh, Are they cockroaches? Uh, water, this is the water beetle, uh, right. crickets. Yeah, this is different. like a buffet for my nightmares. <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified of spiders. Okay. So you this just... could be a way to, to conquer my fear. Do you think I should try one of the tarantulas? I can't believe I'm actually saying that. Which one do you like? You, you people? Ah, oh, they all look. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel like I'm going to pass out now. I'm going to just nibble at the legs. You go halfway. The body as well. Oh. Yeah. The body you will get a flavor. The leg you don't get a flavor. Oh my god. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought a spider would taste like. Um, do you want to finish it for me? I'm OK, thank you so much. OK. Fortunately, we're on our way to wash it down with something a little more flavoursome. And so you are the only rum distillery in Cambodia, is that right? That's right, yeah. Uh, so the owners are uh, from Venezuela originally, um, and they figured there was a lot of sugarcane being grown in Cambodia and around the areas. Uh, so they figured, well, why isn't any premium rum made? Uh, and they decided to open this about, about seven, seven, eight years ago. So my distillery produces handcrafted premium rums with an Asian twist. So normally when we do those flights of rum, uh, we'll start with uh, uh, the white rum and we'll work your way up through uh, more 
of matured, more aged rum as we go. So usually what you, uh, what I'd like to do for spirits, unlike wine, mm -hmm. is actually put my nose in the glass, yeah. but keep your mouth open as well, and yeah. you want to breathe with both at the same time. It's sweet, I can definitely smell the sugar in it. There is a, like a smokiness, but just a hint of kind of smokiness. Right. Roll it around your palate just a little bit. Wow, it's a real flavor hit, right? It just yeah. explodes in your mouth. All right, so next up is, uh, it's called a Kempa Pepper Rum. So this one is actually used uh, just white rum, uh, no aged uh, rum in this one, but we do have the color from the red Kempa Pepper. So the Kempa Pepper comes from the Kempa province in yeah. Cambodia, and this is what it looks like actually. So nobody wow, else sick. in the world does something like this. Wow. That's why this one is very unique uh, to, to Cambodia. That pepper flavor is delicious. It's really unique, I don't think I've actually tasted anything like this before. I'm gonna finish this, I hope that's okay. Please do.